to all, and I am back again. Here we have an interesting little story about our great friend, Lori Lightfoot. You know, the racist black person that doesn't want to have any interviews with, you know, so-called other races, such as, you know, white people. You know, I'll come down to this thing, to this country, that, uh, um, that a lot of these people are starting to pop up and be more, um, you know, vocal about their own typical racism. Of course, we knew this, right? Because everybody thinks that black people can't be racist, which is, uh, you know, a fallacy. And uh, how uh, black people are also saying that, uh, you know, white people are always the racist ones. Well, you guys should look at yourselves because you guys are usually the more racist ones in this day and age than, um, than you think. The difference is, is that y'all are just not killing, you know, white people as the white people did back in the day. So, you know, as we know, white people kill blacks. However, people forget to mention or know that a lot of white people, besides just blacks, were also enslaved in, in horrible conditions. I think Jews was a very big portion of this. Let's, you're not going to talk about, you know, Hitler, you know, eradicating millions of Jews. So, you know, that's not racism. That's not, you know, uh, evil or anything. So, yeah, that was A-OK. -okay. But black people, yep, that's that's a problem. Yep, they, 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 they're the only ones that face racism. And that's what we're kind of uh, going in today, where people think that, uh, you know, black people can do no wrong, black people are not racist, but all the white people are racist, even though there are have been white people that have uh, faced discrimination and racism themselves, and even have wars over each other because of that said racism, or the, or, you know, the rule of others. And people just don't, like realizes they don't think that white people haven't been you know terrible well it looks like um Lori Lightfoot here is getting her just desserts and as she should because you know I don't support racism from anybody whether it be black Mexicano or you would want to say um whites or anything other of that stature because you know I think everybody is equal I think everybody I think everybody can be racist However, we'll go into this little article here, um, and them saying that a uh, judge orders Lightfoot to clarify policy that only granted interviews to journalists of color. And, you know, this is great. Uh, I like the fact that they, she's trying to, that they're trying to order, uh, you know, uh, clarify uh, what Lightfoot means by that one granted journalists of color. And, of course, she's not going to backpedal or go, you know, um, you know, try to say something different because, you know, oh, I didn't mean this, but that's exactly what you meant. You cannot take what you said out of context. Sorry. Life was Laura's claim at hearing that p policy denying interviews to white journalists is no longer in place. Um, yeah, but the problem was is that it was in place and uh, you were discriminating against white people. So, um, I don't think how that solves the problem, how that does anything here. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so please forgive me if you think that I that anything else, but I'm definitely not a lawyer, and, you know, it is what it is. Yes, guys, I'm on Fox News. What you guys what do you guys want me to go, uh, go off of on CNN, um, the Washington Post, you know, things like this that don't necessarily have articles like this because they're biased against their own people. So, you know, uh, they don't normally show this information. As you've seen in the last video about a week or week ago, um, that, uh, they obviously, you know, did not run a report against some of the horrible, heinous things that's happening in New York against the children. But I digress. We'll continue with this article. A judge told lawyers for Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot, D. Monday, to, uh, Monday, to provide a declare, declare, declaration by the end of the week as to whether her policy of only granting interviews to journalists of color was still in effect or would be in the future. Conservative watchdog Judicial Watch asked the court for an injunction against Lightfoot's policy last week, saying it was unconstitutional, but Lightfoot's attorney said at a remote hearing Monday that the policy was not in effect and the request was unnecessary according to reports. Again, as I said, it doesn't really matter whether or not it's in effect or was not in effect. The fact, the problem was it still it was in effect at that point in time, and she's being sued for it because, you know, obviously racism. Do, um, so, Judicial Watch filed a lawsuit against Lightfoot on behalf of the Daily Caller News Foundation last month, alleging Lightfoot violated white reporter Thomas. Okay, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. We we good. Uh, um, 
Uh, all right, we're just going to say Thomas because, yeah. Equal protection rights under the 14th Amendment when she didn't respond to multiple requests for interviews as well as his First Amendment rights. Well, Chicago Mayor Lightfoot sued by Daily Caller after not granting interview to white reporter. You know, see, it, this is what happens when you think that you are uh, above everything and think you're not racist when you are racist and this is what happens you get you know sued for racism because it is racism kind of like california lightfoot sparked outrage when she said last month she would only grant interviews to reporters of color upon the two anniversary of her taking office while admo admonishing chicago city hall press corps for its overwhelming whiteness uh yeah um how many black people are in chicago by the way and how high is your crime rate in chicago and how bad is the gun violence in chicago even though you have a heavy um like heavy laws on to guns in chicago Still a lot of firings, isn't it? Doing great. Running your state just great. Right into the freaking ground. Good job on you, though. Keep going at it. Genital Watch lawyers protect, protested that Lightfoot had provided no evidence that her denial of, of Thomas interview request was not based on race, according to the Daily Caller, leading Judge John Z uh, to lead to order Lightfoot's team for a clarifying of his policy by week's end. Well, I guess we have that going on here. According to the complaint filed with the courthouse, uh, Thomas sent Lightfoot me emails on May 20, May 21st, and May 24th, requesting interviews about her ministry's efforts to vaccinate Chicagoans and other coronavirus issues. The lawsuit alleges Lightfoot purposefully discriminated against Thomas because of his race according to her own state policy. Lightfoot has been sharply criticized for the policy, with some observers calling it discrimination against as progressive and even racist. Yeah, and I would agree. Um, that it would be considered quite racist. That what she is doing. You can't just... Here's the thing, guys. You can't just, like, automatically just, you know, prevent pre people of any color, of any race, and not interview them, talk to them, or whatever, in a public setting, and expect not to be called racist. I mean, at, at the end of the day, it's like... Yeah, you didn't let that guy own a gun because he's ra because he's bl because he's white. Okay, well that's racism. Or what I was about to say, you can't let that guy own a gun because he's black. Well, that's racism. And it's the same thing if you said the same thing to you know, um, white Mexicans, uh, Filipinos, any other race, it would still be considered racism. Why? Because you are not allowing that person to purchase a an item or a weapon, rather, we're sending the weapon, because of the race. Now, of course, context matters, right? So, for instance, if this guy is a uh, a criminal and he has a bat and he has a background where he's shot or killed people with a weapon of some of with a weapon, and then they know that it's like, well, sorry, we can't have you have a firearm because you know of your background. Uh, this is the this is the problem that we have. Then you're not gonna get the weapon. Not because you're white or because you're black or whatever race you are, but because you're simply just, your background says that you are a criminal or you're a dangerous threat to society and you cannot, and you cannot be allowed to have this weapon. Now, I know a lot of people will be going out about saying, it's like, oh, well, Second Amendment, everybody should own a gun. Yes. However, there is a point in time when you get that right revoked when you start hurting or killing others. All right. I don't think a criminal should be allowed to have a weapon so that way he can go do it again. Same thing as I don't think a rapist should be let out of, you know, jail so he can go do it again. I mean, it is a, it's plain and simple. Like, we let these people out, they commit the same thing, and then we're surprised that they do it again. It's like, what do you mean? Why are you surprised? Y you already knew his background. You already knew that was going to happen. So, you're going to let the person that did this out again. Now, the same thing what these uh, democratic states are doing. They're letting out these very violent criminals out into the public, harming their own citizens, by the way, and, and you know, simply not helping them. And there's violence and everything. When you do this, it causes problems. And I don't understand why people can, can't understand that. By the end of the day, guys, life was getting her just desserts. She's, she's getting what she deserves. And hopefully... We can have her pay some serious money for her racism, if not be put in jail. I personally would like to see her put in jail, mostly just due to the fact that, you know, she's racist. And I want to set a message to 
to people that yes, black people can be racist, and yes, black people, sh and yes, people in general should not be racist. I don't want all racists put in jail, mostly just because of the fact that you know freedom of speech and all that, and you should be allowed to do what you want to do. However, at the end of the day, sometimes we have to set an example, and sometimes setting an example is the most extreme. And unfortunately, this might be the time. We gotta fix our country, guys, and this is the one. And this is one way I think we can do it. If you have any solutions or uh, any comments, ideas on how we can uh, on on, uh, on how you can do it, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video.